Yo, what is up, guys? Good to be playing some twos for today with Ajax from e United. Should be some good games. Let's get straight into it. See if we can get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game, we got ourselves Kaz and Sharp. Already starting off with the shot. Good save from us. Gonna grab some pads here. I don't have time to really leave and grab a boost, so I might as well grab pads. At least stay a little bit more relevant. Stay midfield. That way I can follow up if something happens. Make a panic a little bit just by being here. Really good challenge from us. It's going to leave Ajax in a really good position to get a good touch. Caught him leaving the net and it should be a goal. There we go. So my eye was pretty much locked on the last guy back. As soon as I saw him leave, that's when I knew my play was to just take a shot there. If he didn't leave in that situation, I would have just taken a touch to myself and tried to control. Go for a 1v1 play, something like that. But because I saw him leave, I knew that was the best play to make. So, like, really firmly locking your eye on your opponent in a situation like that is actually extremely important. I'm going to launch a ball downfield here. I'll just float. Wait for it to come back to me. I missed, unfortunately. But Ajax was slotted. For some reason, I overthought the bounce a little bit. I thought it was going to go down for some reason. A little bit more than it did. And because it didn't, I ended up missing. But it happens. And as long as you get the goal, that's all that matters. Mistakes do happen as long as you learn from them and try to make less mistakes next time, so... I think my big mistake there was not taking a little bit slower, knowing that he couldn't actually get there. My place to the ceiling, my teammate. There we go. Good pass from him to me, and then good pass to the ceiling back to him. And very good placement to be there and take the shot. Realize the play that's forming. I'm going to fake the big touch here. Make him have to kind of go for it. Let's try to beat me there in that situation. Again, fake the big touch. Now I have a free ball. This situation, I'm going to let him go for this, it's fine. I don't mind, because I know he has low boost. He has to play for that boost. As long as Ajax doesn't get bumped here, we're good. Normal air dribble is not really going to be enough to get by him there. Might be a goal still, though. Yeah. He ended up landing a little bit further than I thought he would. And because of that, wasn't able to get back to the next touch. But that was well played from them. They played it really quick. Kept staying aggressive. And that's how you got to play out that situation to get a goal out of it. So well played. Fake the big touch, go right down to the ground, fake the bounce, pass middle, should be a goal. There we go. Good fakes there. That double jump there, good fake on the wall. Waiting for the bounce makes them have to wait. They have to respect the fact that you can bang that on net, or you can first time the pass. And if you use that to your advantage, then you're going to do well there. Play to the wall. Just faking him a little bit. Gonna have a touch here, but it's fine. Ajax can now get a ball. Oh. If I was able to turn that just a little bit more in there, it would have been a really good shot. It's a good try, though. Try to use the power of the flip to turn the ball just a little bit there. Good 50. It's gonna delay their clear. Should be a free ball now for Ajax. He kind of threw it away too early. Maybe a pinch here. I'm gonna try to preposition for the pinch. If not, I can go back. Again, put yourself in a position there where worst case scenario, you can get back. Best case scenario, you can maybe even get a goal out of it. Try to always position for both scenarios. And you'll see that a lot there at Rocket League. That's a lot of what Rocket League is, is trying to place yourself in a spot where you can react to the best and worst of each scenario. So right there again, teammate could have won that 50 really hard, or he could have lost it like he did, and I got to be in a spot for both of those things. It applies to almost every situation. You gotta cover two angles almost at all times. Messed up my touch there. It's not what I wanted. I'm trying out the PS5 controller right now. It's a little bit wonky to me. But I'm trying to get used to it a little bit. Give it at least a proper try. I didn't give it a proper try when I first got it. Play it down to Ajax. He's gonna touch this, but it's fine. I can go for a quick shot. Maybe snipe it. Good save from him. Well played. Wait for Ajax here. Again, it was one of those situations, like, you see how many times after I mentioned it that those little things apply. Be there for the worst and best case. I'm gonna fake here, try to go for a bump. Make it get a free ball here. I have zero boost, so I'll just let him go again. Faking again. Not the best 50, but it's gonna be tough for him to shoot at the very least. Ah, I messed up. It should be fun. Thought he would have the shot on goal, so I covered the net, but he hit it off the wall, so... Well played from him if you try to hit it off the wall. If not, still well played because it worked out. 
I think he pre-jumped. I'm not sure though, to be honest. Yeah, Ajax is waiting. See, that was that was well played from them, to be honest. The pre-jump. I mean, it's a little bit unrealistic and not something you see very often in like uh, much higher level games and like pro games because it's very risky in a way. You're throwing yourself away if you get beat there. Kind of just flying in the air for no reason if you get beat. Um, but that was a situation where Ajax was was only positioned for the best case scenario, right? And that's okay to make a mistake like that, to be honest. And it's something that happens quite a bit. That's pretty much the only thing that goes in these days in pro play. Um, is someone positioning for something that is only the good outcome and not positioning for the, also the bad outcome. You want to be in kind of the middle of the two, like I said. And that's one of the most important things in today's meta and today's gameplay. It's a good 50 back to him. Can't wait for his touch here. It's going to be a, a free ball to clean up. So I'm not going to boom this. Even though I could have technically passed to Ajax there. I'm going to take it myself. If it wasn't twos, I think I would have passed that. But it's a very real chance it doesn't go well for me. If I do pass that. So I was bumping there trying to delay the rotation a little bit. Ajax is going to be last for a little bit. But it should be fine. I think they messed it up. There we go. It's going to be game. Alright, let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up. Good game all around though, and you can see just so many times after I mentioned it, um, just how important that is to position in a spot where you're covering both options. And I'll talk about it more in the next game, but that's something that, um, in general, I think is the biggest mistake in pro play right now. Since Ajax did dip on us, we're going to be solo queuing some threes for the last game of this video. So let's get into it, let's see if we can get a dub, let's see how it goes. Alright, for the last game we got ourselves Sip, Yokes, and Shadow. I'm surprised to see these Sip solo king threes. I wonder if he's just only playing threes now, not twos. I wonder if he has the same mindset as me when it comes to twos. I think twos have reached like as good as you can get from it. Like you, you can't really gain much from twos anymore. So I like to just solo queue threes. If I'm gonna solo queue at all, threes is the the way to go for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be a really sweaty game. We got two pros on their team, and we got two pros on our team. Um. Even though Delta is like a newer pro, kind of uh, on the lower end of the pros, but he's still definitely up there. Let's see what we can do here. Definitely winnable game, that's for sure. That was a huge play. Nice play from us in general as a team. Good job from the third guy to be there and be ready for my pass. Really well done. The team play aspect of threes is so unmatched to me. I feel like if there was ever a 4v4 game mode, it would actually be really good. I feel like it has a lot of potential. Good demo from us. Let me give our team the ball. As long as they win the challenge, we're good. Only gets scary if we lose that challenge in the corner there. Interesting bumps. I uh, might get out of this with a goal potentially. Or get scored on now. Alright, we're good. We survived. Play it over to space in the right corner. One more touch off the wall here would be pretty big. No one's ready for it, but it's okay. We can get a play out of this, potentially. Can't touch this, but maybe it fakes him. It does. No one expects a pro to miss. <laughs> the beauty of uh, being pro level, being known as a pro. You can get away with some dumb stuff, not gonna lie. But it works against pros too, so. Kind of cancels each other that when uh, two pros are playing each other, it can definitely work against itself, that concept. No one expects pros to whiff, that's just how it is. And then when a whiff does come out or they can't reach a ball and it looks like they can reach a ball, it does change uh, a lot of stuff. People get confused very easily. Wait for a touch here. Just gonna take it solo. Classic typical play. Loves to just solo himself there. Should be a goal. No one is ready for it, unfortunately. Could have actually been a, a shot straight off my 50 there. No one's back wall. I'm very worried about the outcome of this. Yeah. <laughs> if you're back wall there in that situation, you should always defend back wall if someone's on the wall. That's always like a rule of thumb for me personally in threes. If someone's coming at the ball on the wall, always defend from back wall. It's always going to be better. Then putting yourself on the floor. I think Fire Raptor is a coach of their team or in a sub or something. Um, so he doesn't play a crazy amount, I don't think. So 
I don't blame him for not knowing that or not doing it. But that's definitely the advantageous thing to do there in that situation. You'd have a pretty big advantage most of the time. Wait for the bounce here. Sip so never goes as well as first man, I always forget, but it doesn't really ever go. He just baits it constantly. Try to bump him. Alright, unfortunate miss. Should be able to get back. Wow, that was extremely scary. Scarier than it needed to be, for sure. Got away with that. Sit messed up. Actually, could be huge for us. Should be there for this, potentially. Off back wall. Yeah, so he went back wall as well. And it kind of just cancels out my touch completely because if you're on backboard, you can get to pretty much anything. Ah, oh, it's so unfortunate that he shot like that. I don't think he saw me landing or recovering. So again, typical on back wall there. It kind of is the cancel out to any kind of good shot if you're playing back wall. You just have such an advantage over everybody, I feel like. Pass to me, maybe? A little bit harder to do that when he passes to the wall like that. A little bit harder to get a good shot on goal, but it's definitely possible still. Just have to hit it very perfect. Ah, it's not going to be a goal. Again, the back wall defense is what comes in clutch in these, uh, these last second moments here. Should be here for this. A little bit further back again. Had a lot of opportunities to score, to be honest. Comes down to, to being there when it matters. There it is. Been quite a few chances where I think we were about to score and then our last guy back just a little bit far. Maybe a little bit of nerves, not sure. Ranked game might get into some people's heads, the ELO involved, but never really thought of ranked that way. Never really like cared about the ELO from ranked to be honest. Try to bump sip. It's a good counter to the back wall plays if you go for a bump like that in those situations. People don't expect it a lot of the time. Try to bump again. Yeah, good patience from Delta not to commit on a ball like that. Because that's almost never going to be something that works out. Alright, I'm very scared. I'm unbelievably scared. Not going to lie. I'm back all here. Very low boost though. Should be dead. Alright, it's not dead, but it should be dead in a second. Don't really have a play off this. Going to go back right. I was scared because my teammate jumped for that while well, facing our goal and the ball is coming at him very fast, so something you don't really want to do, especially when you have someone behind you, just leave it for the person with a better angle than you. Open. Again, the back wall defense. It's clutched out. So many saves for them. That's what I was talking about. Exactly that. Those situations that it's worked for. Try to delay the, the shot as much as possible. Teammates should go quick. I'll try to help here. It's the only way we got out of the situation. I feel like. It's about middle to kind of butt in somehow. What a free jump. It's very scary though now, but good free jump. Either way, it's a good read. It's fine. It's okay to double commit the air in a situation. It's not awful. Head her off the wall for teammate. No one decided to go. Maybe it's going to work out though. Almost. Low boost here on the wall. Put under the guy on the ceiling. Kind of forces a little bit more pressure on them. I missed the mid boost, but it's okay. Maybe my teammate can rotate out and get it. Play it around him. Definitely an awkward situation there. Having to play it around someone like that that's coming in on you, but got out of it well. I gotta be very patient here. My teammates are both not back, right? So I know he has no play. He's stuck in the corner here. Just gotta like at least get in a spot where my teammates can react to their next touch. It's a really good 50. Good back wall position. Play it right to open space. So much open space there is. Oh, my teammate went as well. Okay, this is probably a goal against us unless he goes huge, which he did. Okay, he went massive. He won a 50 on two people. That's actually 
a huge play there. He's playing patient. I know Sip always goes for the pop. As soon as he beats one, he goes for the pop right away. So if you know that, then you just gotta wait for the first beat and then get ready for the, the high touch. Huge kill for us. Nice. If he doubled that, that would have been massive. Oh, this is big. This is big. Never mind. You got dunked. The big sip dunk. Just gotta wait for this. It's fine. Might be bad now. Okay, we're good. Good read for my teammate. The only bad thing about that is he wasted quite a bit of boost. So I gotta just try to stall time again here. 50 is huge. We won it quite well. Now we gotta hope our team does well here because I can't help them. Nice. One's up here, I think, behind me. Sounded like someone was, yeah. Good save from him. Came in from the side, kind of blindsided me, and I'm not able to help out. Get back into play quick because of it. Good pass. Nice, good play. That was a sweaty game. Very sweaty game, but alright. We got a bit. A lot of chances. We could have scored much earlier, to be honest. Maybe a, a little bit of a lack of trust in each other. Um, maybe a little bit of rank nerves. I don't know, to be honest. But we got it with a win, and it was a very sweaty game against two pros. I'm not sure who the other guy was. I actually kind of want to check who he was. All right, so the other guy, uh, Yokes, has his profile completely private. His name changed. Could be another pro. I, d I don't know. I don't think so, though, the way he was playing. Didn't seem um, like insanely consistent, but he was still a good player as well. Definitely high MMR, definitely high SSL. But there's definitely that difference between pro players and uh, the high SSL players. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time is you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you. Peace.